Okay, so here for this equation, with the initial condition y of 0 equals 2, the question reads, for the given initial value problem, use the existence and uniqueness theorem to determine if solutions will exist and will be unique. Okay. So we know this is continuous everywhere. So we can say that solutions will exist everywhere. Okay. Everywhere for all x, y. Okay. Now, how about exist and unique and unique? So now, to use the exact and uniqueness theorem, we're going to say f is equal five y minus two to the three fifths. So that makes partial f partial y is three y minus two raised to the minus two-fifths, which makes partial f partial y three over y minus two to the two-fifths. Now, partial f partial y is not continuous along y equals 2. So perhaps solutions will exist and be unique everywhere except along y equals 2 according to the uniqueness and the existence and uniqueness theorem. So solutions exist and are unique for all x, y, except possibly along y equals 2, since this is not, since the partial f partial y is not continuous along y equals 2. Okay? And now the question says, then solve the initial value problem to obtain an, analyt an analytic solution and use this analytic solution to determine whether the solutions passing through y of 0 equals 2 will be unique. So now we need to verify. Okay? So now we're going to solve the initial value problem. Okay, so uh, this is an easy separable one. So this becomes dy separation of variables minus 2 to the 3 fifths equals 5 dx. And now we can integrate both sides. And we will get, so we can pull this up to get y minus 2 raised to the minus 3 fifths dy. Pull the 5 outside the, the constant dx. And we can integrate this to be y minus 2 raised to the 2 fifths. Uh, multiplied by 5 halves.
so to get 0 on this side equals 10 plus C. Because right. uh, if we plug in 2 for Y, this whole thing goes away. Um, oops, wait, uh, X is 0. So 0 plus C, which makes B equals 0. So now we can solve plug so that means this guy goes away and we get y minus two to the two fifths equals two x because this five and this five will cancel out then after the c goes away and we can raise both sides to the five halves so we would get y minus two equals 2 to the 5 halves x to the 5 halves which would give us y equals um, 2 to the 5 halves 32 let's just keep it as 2x to the 5 halves plus 2 so this is the solution for the problem. Um, passing through zero two. After we plug in the initial conditions. But we also know that y equals 2 also passes through the point through 0, 2. And isn't y equals 2 a solution? Because if y equals 2, you know, uh, because look, dy over dx would be zero, and the right hand side would also be zero when you plug in two here. When you put two here, this side becomes zero. So therefore, the solution is not unique. Therefore, solution is not unique. That kind of summarizes what we were actually discussing earlier about the fact that, yeah, you could find a solution that goes to 0, 2, but since y equals 2 is also a solution that satisfies the uh, initial value, then the solution is not unique. And that, you know, as promised by the uh, um, uniqueness theorem, existence and uniqueness theorem, it said everywhere except possibly along y equals 2. Well, what else would the, uh, what else would make y? Oh, uh, y equals 2. Yeah, I know. Other than that. Oh, there's other things that make it Did you solve it? Continue solving it, you'll see. Yeah. 